We should rejoice that we have refuge from such a violent world. Amen, Rachel. We must stand in peace and bear witness to Proverbs 133. Who hearkeneth to me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. As you all know, we're expecting a new addition to our family. I'd like to give a message on the joy that our children bring us. Deborah? <laughs> a few days ago, I felt my baby moving. I'm so happy. Emily, uh, you got a minute? Sure. Uh, you, you know that uh, some of us have been talking for quite a while about starting up our own Quaker school. So I've heard. Well, Mike here would qualify to run it if he completed his ed courses. You want to be a teacher, Mike? Yes, I do, Emily. And with all the problems kids have these days, it seems to me that teaching is the most important job there is. I mean, don't you agree? Oh, yes, absolutely. The thing is, Mike doesn't have the money for another year at college, so we were wondering if you could A bank the... loan. <sighs> Actually, I was hoping for some kind of scholarship. I mean, I heard you help someone else once. Um... Uh... Well, yes, that was a, a personal matter. It didn't work out. Wasn't much of a recommendation for a scholarship, was he? You wouldn't hold someone else's sin against Mike, would you? No, of course not. Uh, we'll find a way. We'll get you the money, Mike. Don't you worry. Emily, I don't know where to begin to thank you. Oh, you don't have to. Thank you, Emily. You're welcome, Rachel. God bless. God bless you, too. Come and see me next week. They're trying to build a community of love and sharing down the road, honey. They really need our support. Yeah, love and sharing. Hey, man. Hey, Lester, good to see you here, boy. Go! Come on, come on! Lester, go! Come on, get in the car! Get in! We're coming, boy! Thanks for coming to the meeting. It was nice having you there, the whole family together. Yeah, well, I guess it wasn't too painful. Well, I hope you'll come again. It's so good having you back home. I'm, um, I'm thinking about going back to New York. I don't understand you, Janet. I was hoping you'd stay. Why don't you give the bank a chance? Make a new beginning with us. I'm sorry to be such a disappointment to you, Mother. I never said that, honey. And I never will. I don't belong here. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'll find something. You know, I always do, right? Well, I pray that God will help you find your way. I think God forgot about me a long time ago. Dog Day good work. Dog Day Afternoon. Uh, Dog Day Afternoon. All right. All right. Uh, that was a good hostage movie, Al Pacino. You know, he was a bad man. Out of car. Out of car. Out of car. He was trying to be bad. Look at him. He was like, I'm bogey. Desperate hours. 
That's bad. Come on. It yeah. was dumb. No. He sits around the whole no. movie waiting for no. his girlfriend to show up while the cops are moving now. Come on, here I am. Come on, here I am. Come on, here What's the point? Noble. Oh, please. I mean, you're risking your life for love is, is the most noble thing. You don't want us and our child to have a home of our own. Of course I do. I don't know what I want. You know how mom and dad feel about tradition. Families living together. Sure, just like their parents and their grandparents before them, all the way back to William Penn. Well, that's not so bad, is it? Look, this house is big enough for all of us. And our children. Oh, God, look at the time. What do we care? Marcus, we can't live in bed. Emily, did it ever strike you that the Lord must really like men and women? Hmm. I mean, really like us. He put us on this earth together, and he made us feel like angels. <laughs> but God didn't have to keep bankers ours. <laughs> Here she is. Is that what you're going to wear to the bank? Do you want some eggs? No, just coffee for me, thanks. <laughs> Janice, you really have got to eat something. You're getting too thin. I'm not hungry, Mom. She's always been thin. Thin as a reed. I'm just going to have to feed her, aren't we? Oh, it's a sad, sad day if this is all you guys can think to talk about. Sad, 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 sad. So you see a light it down there, eh? Oh yeah, man, nothing wrong with each other like that. In the a seven miles of <laughs> Hola, Santiago. <laughs> Jimmy, baby, I'm <laughs> so glad to see you. We need too many sugar uh, puddings, my friend. Amoras en la costa. Uh, caballo grande, ande lo ande. Speak <laughs> English, I'll stick to business. Oh, yeah, sure, business. Nothing personal, Jimmy. I got the merchandise. That's half of the business. Yeah. Now, the other half is, do you have the money? Well, why don't we take a look at the merchandise? Oh, the money first. Okay, it's in the glove compartment in the car. Oh. I got it for you. Oh. I'll do the getting. Took you long enough to get it off. Come on, let me hang with this stuff over here. Come on, let me see, man. Let me see. Oh, look at this! Prime merchandise, man. Sure, if you're Al Capone. They're antiques. He was trying to rip us off. Mira, mami, en la cima del mundo. Daddy. Good morning, Miss Sayers. Good morning, Herb. Everything all right? Morning, Emily. Janet. 
Nine lock just switched itself off. Good. Oh, Fred called. He scratched another teller for today. Hmm, the flu again? Seems to be going around. Well, you can fill in, Janet. It's time you worked as a teller anyway. You remember how to count? Uh-huh, yeah. Up to 20 if I take my shoes off. You'll be fine. Jet and eight hours of fuel, just as I planned. I just want to check to make sure you didn't let anybody burn the town down while I was away. How's the fishing? Uh, more than my freezer can handle. Take what you need, Bobby. Get my light fixed. Oh, no, I forgot. Looks like you emptied Lake George. Well, I tried. Anything exciting happened while I was away? Those mill guys that stayed at the bar so we could all go fishing. What's this? What? Jimmy Flood busted out. Why didn't you call me? You're on vacation. Bobby! No reason to... You get me the state police right now. This guy killed my brother and you don't call me? Bad pennies back among the righteous. Jimmy, why are you here? What are you doing? At 8 o'clock this morning, a local armored car service is going to pull up at your bank, right? What? With the weekend of cash from the hotels around the lake, just answer yes or no. Just answer yes or no. Yes! Yes! And the money from the lumber mill and the three small banks which use your bank as a deposit point, yes? Yes. At noon, another local armored car is going to come and take the whole load to New York. Now that's the way it works, right? Understand. Do you understand what's going to happen to you if you don't behave? Yes. Good. 
So, putting it all together and adding the amount that you have in your vault for four hours, there's how much money? Four million. That's very good indeed, Emily. Now here's where the fun comes. Have you been following along? You're going to rob the bank. No, I can't do that. My parole officer would be upset. You want me to turn over every penny of the bank's cash to you? The pennies are yours. The green stuff, sorry. So talk. It can't be done. We have procedures. Safeguards on our balls. Dual control code keys. Other people are involved. So explain the situation to me. They are friends, aren't they? No, they're not Quakers. And even if they were, they wouldn't help me steal. You'll figure it out. The bank would have to close. There'd be a panic. The police will move in right away. Then we go to plan B. You tell them that we have three hostages here. That's three funerals for national television. They won't give you the money. They will if they don't want a massacre. You know these guys. I know Jimmy Flood. He lived with us for a year. 11 o'clock is the deadline. That means you're back here alone by 11 o'clock. The money's all there. We're gone, Emily. Jimmy, you're not making any sense. Do you really expect to get away from here with every road closed against you? Who needs roads when you've got wings? And just to show you how much sense I can actually make, Janet and Deborah are flying with us to the end. What are you talking about? Shut up, Emily. Jimmy, get up here, man. Go. Dylan, what's he doing here? I don't know. What are we going to do? What do you think we should do, Les? Turn ourselves in? You try anything, you'll all be dead. Understand? Relax, Jimmy. We're quite convinced you'd kill us all with a second thought. Well, maybe not everyone, babe. Okay. Emily? Let's see a big smile for the law. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Chief. I uh, thought I'd come up here and talk to you and Marcus. Is uh, he around? No. Uh, he went to, to the lumber mill today. Oh. You remember Jimmy Flood, don't you? Yes. Well, you know they got him for manslaughter down in Florida? Yes, I heard. He escaped two days ago. Shot up a guard pretty bad. Will he live? Oh, you sure? Uh, look, Emily, I had a, a wild idea. I don't think Flood would try and contact you, do you? Well, now, why would he do that? Well, you helped him once. Or well, maybe to wire him some cash, something like that. You feeling yourself, Emily? No, it's just a... It's just a touch of the flu. I know it's going around. I'll be fine. Good. If he did try to contact you, you wouldn't try to help him now, would you? No man is my enemy, John. You know that. Well, Jimmy Flood is my enemy. Then you have a good day, Emily.
Very good, Emily. I'm very proud of you. Be realistic. Once Dolan knows what's going on... Make sure he doesn't. That's impossible. There's bound to be violence. You know how he feels about you. And what's that supposed to mean? That guy I bumped off five years ago? He's Dolan's brother. Ah, wonderful. Now we have a police van that I had to deal with. Don't worry about it. He's a hick. He's nothing. Uh, uh, you should have told us about this before, Jenny. Any other secrets? I'm not gonna lie to you. Anyway, we don't care whether or not the cops come in, do we? Plan B, right? Well, I don't mean to question your brilliant strategy there, Napoleon, but plan B is not going to work if your friend Dolan gets wind of us being here and comes charging in here with the guns are blazing. The FBI is gonna keep him in line. Dolan may not call the FBI. I will. Marcus. Here. Up. This isn't necessary, Jimmy. I'm not gonna try anything stupid. Now you won't. And neither will any cop snipers. Don't pull on the middle heart. Jimmy? Jimmy, what if I could offer you some money? The cash, without anybody noticing. It's kind of the point, Emily. No, I, I mean so that no one will know that you've ever even been here. Negotiable bear bonds, long-term CDs that won't be missed for months, maybe seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. They'd be it's almost a million dollars. A million dollars. Right there. You say a million. Yeah, well, it won't be easy. On, I, it it can be done, and at no risk to you. What do you think, Jimmy? Jimmy, we should talk about this. Why? We're set to spend the rest of our lives living under palm trees, for which we need four million dollars. Understand? Understand? I agree. Let's go. You're going to back up, Emily. If she can't convince them, you do. If you hurt anyone, I'm gonna... Don't talk tough, Andy, man. It's not Quakerly. Jimmy, what if what if I can't keep the police out of this? You have to guarantee that you Emily, won't hurt Janet Emily, or Devin. I'm a good guy. Hey, I don't want to hurt anyone. But I do want that money. I want that money so badly that I'm willing to shoot down every member of your family to get it. That's what I guarantee. Understand? Eleven o'clock, that's deadline time. One minute after eleven, that's trouble time. I call the police, tell them to come and get the first buy. In that right, Marcus! of silence. No, this is not the right time. Well, it has to be. Because what we have to do must be held up in the light. back for you. I know you meant five years. I had problems, Janet. This one is the only thing that catches us up. Catches us up. Don't start trying to turn the pants off me while I'm still putting them on. There are other banks. Why us? They tried to help you. Nobody helped me. Well, that was somebody else, was it? That was another kid that Mom and Dad stood up in court for and said it wasn't his fault. He came from a broken home, never got the love that he needed. Somebody else. Janet, would you have stood up in court for me? You know I would. Then why did you stop writing when I was in juvenile? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that's what this is all about. 
getting back at me? That's the idea? Then get back at me. There was no light, only darkness. Let's go. Wait a minute, David. I don't think it can be done. Not Flood's way. What's the alternative? An assault on the house with our family in it? He's ready for that. He has explosives in the cellar. Explosives? Yes. Emily, we have got to do what they say and pray that they'll get out without hurting anyone. Without killing anyone. That's what this is really about. How do we handle this, David, without them killing anyone? Jason's in from the Tucson branch. I take this guy golfing yesterday. It's unbelievable. I put a volleyball down in front of this guy. He's still so Emily? David, we can't give it to them. I'll give them the money. No, we have got to give it to them. Look, the New York truck arrives at noon. If they find that vault empty, all hell will break loose. Flood will be gone. He'll be gone by then. Taking Janet and Deborah with him. Where to? Cuba? Somewhere halfway around the world? We can't let that he happen. Will, he will let them go. Will he? And what if they get caught in a crossfire with the police? What else can we do? I don't know. I'm feeling my way in the dark. Looking for a light somewhere. Thanks. Steinman's Mark. Yuri, I want a meeting. This morning? Yes, this morning. What's going on? Remy's Boatyard, Ken here. All right, now you're... Well, you... Hello? Rachel, it's Emily. I'm sorry to disturb your privacy, but we're calling an emergency meeting for this morning. I'll be there. Time for a break, Marcus. No, I'll stay. She's carrying a child. If it's a boy, be sure to call him Jimmy. Nothing in my life has prepared me for this. I need your help. Jimmy Flood knows us. We should all go to the house together and hold him in the light. 
I don't think Jimmy Flood will let himself be held in the light right now, Rachel. Then what can we do? I don't know. But I don't want anyone hurt. We can't let the police know about this. No guns, no confrontations at all. Well, how are you going to do that if you don't give them the money? Well, let's, let's start with this. Lester and Digby would have settled on the spot for the million I offered. Flood shot that down. Yes, but suppose. Suppose they're faced with trouble they don't expect. Maybe, maybe they would turn against him. That would be the time to offer them a cut rate deal again. The million dollars, that's good. No, 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 no. If we make any move against that's them... That's just it. I don't want to make any move against them. I'm lost. What do you want to do? Well, how about this? We isolate them in that house. Cut them off completely from the outside world. What's the point of that? You keep them from communicating with anyone. Especially Dolan. And drive them all a little nuts. Then you can't show up at the house with the money. But the police don't show up either. Nothing at all happens. This is crazy. The deadline is 11 o'clock. I know. But suppose 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. It keeps going like that with nothing happening. What do you do if you're flat? Kill one of the hostages. Well, maybe not if you don't know what's going on. Wait a sec. I call you at the bank and threaten to kill someone. What if the phone is dead? You can't threaten anyone. But, Emily, they've already threatened you. Yes, but now it's a whole new ball game. He doesn't know what's going on. And if we cut the power, he can't even see if anything's hit the news on TV yet. What does he do now? I take one of the hostages with a gun to their head and I go out and see what's happening. Okay, that's good, but what if you find that the only road open to you is blocked by a, a tree or, or some cars? Oh, I think the cops did it and I hustle back to the house. Well, you'd have to explain things to Digby and Lester, but they don't see any police out there and none of you can communicate with anyone. What did they think? Well, then everything's falling apart. That's right. So what do they do now? I, I, I don't know. I don't know either, but neither will Flood. Only he can't afford not to know. And once Lester and Digby figure out that he's gotten them into something he can't handle, maybe, just maybe his authority over them ends. You're out of your mind, you know that? You, you think I've just been waiting for you? So what else you got in your life that's so terrific? <laughs> and my life is just fine, thanks for asking. Was it? Living with the righteous. And why didn't you get away? I did. Why didn't you ever stay away? <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you? See? <laughs> We're the same. <laughs> So the music comes up and we sail off into the sunset and live happily ever after, is that it? Remember your 16th birthday. After we got back from the lake, I used to go crazy in prison thinking about you with other guys. There was never anyone else who mattered. Confabulation, if you please. What the hell are you doing with that woman? She's nothing to you. No, you want to play quick draw McGraw? What is this? What is she? Something else you didn't forgot to tell us about? Are you finished? No, I'm not finished. Our success depends on all of us keeping focus. Quit playing Romeo. You're finished. This is good. 
be easy. No, this is crazy. You're lucky. Mention one more time and I'm gonna blow your head off. You are gambling with their lives. If violence is going to come, David, if it's God's will, there's nothing we can do. But I don't think it is his will. You know, Emily, I've... I've often thought what I'd do if I saw my family threatened. I pray that I would meet the test and be an instrument of the Lord. Well, my test has come. It's here. Let me see you shoot, Jane. What do you want me to shoot at? The little white rock over there, see? Jimmy, she should be back by now, huh? Don't worry, she'll deliver on schedule. That's right. Emily and schedules. We'd all be much better off if there wasn't a single gun left in this valley. Hey, Les. I used to do my homework here. Emily insisted on a schedule. It was four to six every day. You strive for the school magazine it was pretty good only emily only ever saw the punctuation jimmy it pains me to see you turn your back on everything emily taught you you were part of our family hey i had a family my dad wasted his life working for your wife and her miserable bank you owe me your father used to get boozed up and belt you around for kicks do you really like that better than what we terrible quakers did for you Quakers are supposed to love their neighbor, Marcus. Do you love me? Do you care? Do you love me, Marcus? Jimmy! I think Deborah's having a really hard time upstairs. I, th I should go up and replace her, right? You don't get to be a bullet shield. Then what do we do? Are you all right? So you're Jack Wilson. What does that mean to you? I've heard about you. What did you hear? You're a low-down Yankee liar. Oh, here we go. Come on. Come on. Prove it. I'm ready. How you doing? I'm all right. Would you like a sandwich or something? No, thanks. Everything's ready. What if they drive around it? Oh, well, for all they know, there could be an army on the other side. Or an open road to town. Rachel, see if Ray needs anything, please. Yes, of course. David, please stop fighting me. What, am I supposed to make this easy for you, Emily? Those are my orders? No, of course not. But this won't hold up unless we all work together. I want your word you'll stay the course. David, look at me. I want your word. I'll do what has to be done. Yes? Emily, we forgot someone. He's going to run right into the bus. I'll be right there.
Something wrong, Emily? <laughs> no, Henry. I just thought I'd save you the trouble of going up to the house. Oh, sounds good to me. Thank you. That's funny. What's that? That jetty. Nobody uses it anymore. It's not safe. Darn fool vacationers. Uh, right. Have a nice day. You too, Henry. Nice to see you. Just trust Janet, her. I can You can't it. keep her handcuffed up here forever, okay? Because it's hurting her. Janet, I can handle it. Wow, that's too bad. Well, I think it's my turn. I told you, you don't get to be a bullet shield. Would you quit training me like I'm special, Jimmy? Because, you know, after all, I am just another hostage, aren't I? How could you say that to me? Oh, what? You mean after all we've been to each other for the past five years? You let go of her, and you put me up here. I said put me up here now! That's the way you want it, sure. Yeah. Lester! Jimmy, it's almost deadline, man. Jenny, does anybody know about that? Uh, must be outsiders. I haven't seen a local boat there for years. Something's going on. About. You know you've done, don't you? The money's gone and we've got nothing left to bargain with anymore. You know what you're doing, Emily? You are playing God. You're running this show like you run everything else. You know what I think? There's nobody out there. What's your mommy trying to do, huh? I don't know. Let her go. Come on, baby, sing out so she can hear you. That'll bring her running. I'm just trying to show you how to handle the situation. You're a genius. Get that, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
family he'll kill. He won't hurt me. I'm still his meal ticket. Remember? She's right. She's right. It's okay. She's right. Hold up. You look a little frazzled, Emily. You're not hurrying on my account, are you? What were those shots? All clear. Where's uh, Schneider there? David's at the bank. I want to know. First the money. Where is it? What were the shots? Where's the money? I want to see Janet and Deborah now. Uh, oh, oh yeah. hey, everything's gonna be okay. Emily, sweetheart. Emily, I was so worried. The money, please. Shh, shh. Uh, Jimmy, there's been a problem. A power outage. We couldn't open the vault. The, the iron car pickup's been delayed. You're stalling till the police can get here. They don't know about this. Everything's blacked out in town. Don't lie to me! I'm not lying to you. I'm doing everything I can, Jimmy. That's why I came back to tell you. The cops don't know about us? No, they don't know you're here. Oh, man, we could be stuck here for hours. Why don't you just take your guns and your explosives and, and get out while you can? What explosives? She saw the ammo cases. No, they were explosives in the cellar. I know what I saw. And I know what I want to see. Four million dollars. No! Are you telling the truth? No! Are you telling me the truth? No! You, me the truth? you can't do this. These guys think I can't. But they don't know you like I do. Listen to me, Jimmy. Just think back. Five years, right here in this house, you were part of this family. You were a sensitive and intelligent young man. You still are. People don't change so much. There's a light in you. You won't hurt Deborah. Oh, you don't think there's a light in me? I see through you. Sometimes we forget who we really are. Uh, Marcus and Marcus and I always hoped that you'd, you'd be a son to us. I mean, that's why your father asked us to raise you. Whoa, what? Well, Jimmy, it's the truth. Well, he didn't know what he was doing. I mean, he's living on the bottle. No, he knew what he was doing. He knew he couldn't take care of you. <laughs> we used to make fun of you guys, the Quakers. Well, maybe so. But your father wanted you to be happy, and he knew he couldn't give you the love you needed. Oh, come on, let's get something going here. Are you going to listen to this stuff? Man? Shut come up. on! Listen, I, I, I can still get the money for you. Uh, the power department says I'll be back online in a few hours. I, I can open the vault then. You'd have made a great con man, Emily. The question is, are you still conning me? You didn't know you had such a tough old sneaky mom, did you? No, I didn't. Are you sure no one's hurt? Everyone's all right. I 
way it's working. They're falling apart. But they're still here. If I had just given them the money, maybe Ben he... Dolan would have come charging in here. There would have been shooting. Jimmy isn't here just for the money. Why else would he be here? Me. She's lying. The money is gone. Well, I believe her. She was trying to protect her kid, man. Any fool could see that. You're taking us for fools, Jimmy. And what was that about the explosives? Oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Oh, man. Emily knows plenty. In fact, enough to have us chasing our tails around. You screwed up, Jimmy! Yeah, and you made this big deal about these pussycat Quakers. All praying, no complications. We'll get the money! How? I'll get it myself. It happened years ago, and neither one of us could handle it. You mean a 16-year-old boy could persuade you to... No, Dad. I wanted him as much as he wanted me. Janet, you never told us. Well, that would have been impossible. Why? That's it? That's all we get? Just impossible? Look, I'm sorry. It was all kind of difficult. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. And right after that, he shot Nolan's brother. I couldn't tell you. Do you think that just because we're Quakers, that we know nothing of life? No, you don't! You don't know what it's like to feel something inside of you and not be able to do anything about it because everybody around you is so damn pious and gray. And then a guy like Jimmy comes along. Because you never saw me for who I am. It's just... It's just who you all are. It's what you believe. What we believe? A fine caricature we've made Marcus, of our beliefs, if that's how Marcus. it seems to you. Need to break up the family reunion, Emily? Not yet! We're going to the bank. <laughs> Anything out there? Nothing showing. All right, come on. All right, let's go. Here we go. Emily? I don't know. Dad. What the hell's going on here, Ray? Come on, you heard Jimmy. What do Quakers know about explosives, man? Yeah. Did you hear him cut our off upstairs? No, that's crazy, man. Why would Jimmy bring firecrackers here? We would all go up together, man. Oh yeah, wouldn't we? Mais louco, hombre!
You're giving me more trouble than you're worth. Uh, we, we just broke down. Mike's uh, gone into town to get a tow truck. We've had this old dinosaur in the backyard for years. What's it doing out on the road? Well, we thought we'd use it to bust some of the kids to the school in town and uh, some of the other Quaker kids. Really? Uh, listen, do you, do you know anything about air brakes? Um, I got a leak back. Was the one up there? You were lying. Oh, so, so we go to Plan B. Oh. You tell Dolan that two hours from now, no more than that, you bring four million dollars to the house, or you get a bundle. Janet, Deborah, or Marcus. One of them is going to be cut up into so many pieces. You're going to have to fit them back together to see who it is. Two hours. Four million. Jimmy! Jimmy! Out there, all empty. Are you sure? I cased the property from one end to the other. Nobody. You're arrested decent boy. My God, what happened? I'm all doctor. right. We wanted to get her to the hospital, but she wouldn't I'm let I'm all it. right. We we're lucky Dolan was there at the barricade right, right the whole time. Dolan, what was he, he ran off just before she came out of the room. Do you believe that story about the bus? I don't think so. We're running out of time. Sit down, dear. Sit down. Are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. Give her some water, Anna. Thank you. How's your wrist? Uh, I, I still think we should get you gone. No, 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 no. I'll be fine. All right. Deborah's all right. Everybody's all right. No, I saw. Here, you drink this. Thank you, Anna. If I just had the courage to finish it. Finish it. I had Flood's gun in my hand. I pointed it right at him. I just couldn't pull the trigger. Why didn't you do it? They is talking rubbish, David. Where's the courage if we violate our own beliefs? So, what do you want to do now? So far, I've... I've lied, I've raised my hand in anger with a gun in it. I've filled my head with thoughts of killing. There's only one thing left for me to do now. Steal a million dollars. Emily, what have you done to her? Nothing. She's all right. You're sure she's all right, Jimmy? She's fine. Right now she's talking to the cops. She's telling them that the fun time's over. Man, the cops, what happened here? There was a roadblock. Um, we crashed up the car. Listen, I just went out there and took a look around. Me not see nobody. What'd you do, Jimmy, man? Were you, I mean, you, you left with Emily and you come back without her. How dead is she, man? Or is it just that she got away from you? No, which is it, Jimmy? She's fine. We're still in control. No, nah, man. This thing's a bust, man. This whole thing is a total bust, man. I don't know what's going on, but it's gone, man. Get control of yourself, Lester. Pull yourself together. Either Emily's gonna pay up or the cops are gonna come in. If the cops come in, then we're gonna threaten to knock off the hostages until they fall in line. We can't threaten nobody. We're isolated out here. Nobody knows about us. Don't tell me, what's our next move, man? Come on, tell me. What are we gonna do? We get out of here. That's what we do. Well, then I'm gonna go get the car, man. Don't get the yeah, car. Everybody's gonna get the, the car, car already. Why not? Please. 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 The car. You can take the back trail down to the, the, the lake road. You can... Nobody will see you. Leave the car alone. Take in the back I'm trail. I'm telling you. We're gonna sit here and wait till Emily brings in the money. You ain't telling anybody anything. 
And that's a fact. McGrady's is close. I can get you a car from there. I'm coming with you. How do I know you'll come back? Bullet rides, okay? All right, which way is McGrady? How are you two going to make it through all the cops out there? And hey, don't start that again. You want cops? Take a look. There. Straight ahead. Last roof! Les, how could you believe that dumb son of a bitch? Emily, where have you been? You missed your lunch appointment. I know, her. I'll take care of it. They called and I didn't know what to say. Look at your face. What happened? Oh, it's nothing. I just got a call that uh, cash and carry antique dealer down in Glen Falls. He's coming in. Needs 50000 in cash right away. Let me open the vault. service here. Uh, just a minute, please, Anna. I don't have all day. Yeah, this bank uh, gave better service than this year. But, but Anna, I'm dealing with a customer at the moment. Well, well, I am also. Now, now, well, sweet, we, we do need help here. Would you just be there in a moment? Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. manager, uh, uh, may we see the manager, please? Uh, uh, just a moment. Could you... What is going on out there? It looks like a cranky crowd. Betty's on her own. You better open up. I'll finish in here. All right. My merciful God, forgive me. <laughs> okay, put it over here. You're afraid of Jimmy Flood, aren't you? What do you mean? Emily, if Flood came back and wanted to cause trouble, you really think one old rusty bus is going to stop him? He did call you, didn't he? Well, yes. Uh... So you were frightened and rounded up your friends to block your drive and watch the house? Now, if I'm wrong about any of this, you just tell me. You're a fool not calling me at once. I know. Would be something if he showed up here, huh? Well, what would you do? It's up to him. I'll have someone keep an eye on your house. No, that's not necessary, Chief. I'll be Chief. there myself in about an hour. I'm going to do some plain talking to you people. Come on, 
on, Jimmy. We gotta get the hell out of here. I can't take this anymore. Take it easy, lass. It's not much longer. I'm parked just off the lake road, and I can see anybody coming down the trail from your place. Stay well back, Ken. If they buy the deal, I want them to take the truck and drive away. And Ken, don't take any chances. Okay. I don't have much time. I've got to get going. I'm coming with you. No, we're going to. Uh, Rachel, that's impossible. If they see us with you, they'll know that we come in peace. They will not harm us. I'll go too. My friends, I'm grateful for everything you've done. But what you want to do is, is foolish and dangerous. Look who's talking. They know us the sense of the meeting, Emily. They is not alone. at it and I don't believe it, man. Jimmy! Wes! Don't waste my time! <laughs> what are they here for? They wanted to come, to show you no harm is intended. The money, give it. What? One million, Jimmy. Take it in. <laughs> you take it. You happy? Are you glad? Stop it! I can do. I told you! I told you what would happen, Emily, and you're overdue! Dispatch, this is Dolan. You guys are really something else, you know? Who shot you? 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 Who shot you?
Oh, oh, shut up, Lester. No, no, you shut up. Don't do tell me. What are you trying to do? Give me that. Give me Emily got you a million dollars and no police and a pickup down by the lake. It's a good deal. If you don't want to take this deal, you could just say bye-bye right now. Well, we started together. We might as well finish together. There's a condition. Emily, you're not in a position to make conditions. Let the others go. We, we can't have them rousing the police. Well, what are you going to do with them? Take them all with you? Why don't you just... lock them in the shed? You really are something, aren't you, huh? After all of this, you're just trying to keep everyone out of harm's way, huh? That's all it's ever been. Go, go! Come on into the shed! Buster! Come on, let's go! Oh. We're going to the car. Come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, you don't need these. We said we'd go. So, so is it true no man is your enemy? Don't stand a chance. I know. so far. You can all walk out of here. No! No! You're not going anywhere! Lester, I'm going to open that door. You can shoot me if you want to. to do anything. I promise you nothing will happen. Don't shoot! 
Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! We're coming out! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Please don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot. I have another. Oh, hands! Another gun! I have a knife too. Take the knife. I don't need it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me help you. Help me. a million dollars. It's better if you're dead. We sail off to the sunset. But you had a plane. Wait a minute. This is my way out the whole time.
did you know? I saw the boat. How did you know? Lester and Digby didn't know about those explosives. That made no sense unless you already had another way out planned for yourself. Are you going to give it to me? Let Janet go. I can shoot you and get it myself. All right. Shoot. to be the one to destroy your faith in the goodness of man. You can do it now, can't you? God bless thee and keep thee, Jimmy Flood. You don't have to shoot. Tear this old barn down. I did. It lasted 200 years, didn't it? Well, sometimes you have to throw tradition out the window and build something new and better. Like a new house. <laughs> Are you sure you don't mind living so close to us? Well, no, Mom. This is this is perfect. Maybe now I'll have some privacy. I haven't had a minute since our honeymoon. <laughs> Emily. Oh, 
How are you feeling? Oh, I'm all right. Fine. When are you leaving, honey? Oh, in the morning, you know. Will you let us know where you are? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, you know, you... All those years you think that your life only has meaning because of someone else. You think that because you loved him. <sighs> My life is such a mess. <sighs> Can I tell you something, Janet? I think that you are a remarkable woman. Because the easiest thing in the world is to live in a refuge from the world. But the hardest thing is to live in the world alone. When I think of how I wasn't there for you, I feel so ashamed. 